Hey, hey, what's going on? My name's Connor DeBruin. If you don't know me, you probably don't. That's okay. Right now, we're talking about the seven reasons why you should go to Indonesia. Number one, Bintang beer. It's amazing. It's made by Heineken, and I don't think you can get it anywhere else. You definitely can't get it in the U.S. It's cheap, Bintang beer, it's good. Two, it's freaking paradise, people. Like, this place is beautiful. Although it can be pretty hot sometimes. It's humid 24-7, so make sure you're, you're wearing clothes that you can just sweat in and not really care about. Indonesia is a thousand different islands. There's beaches everywhere, especially Bali, which is where everybody wants to go. It's amazing. Number three, the food here. The food here is crazy. It's so cultured and you've probably never eaten anything like it unless you've already been to Asia, then you definitely have. You're gonna find tons of noodles, tons of meats. I ate chicken head when I was actually there. <gasps> yeah, chicken head. Yeah, it was definitely something. All you see when you're eating it is the shrieking scream of a chicken that was being cooked. But it did taste like chicken. I hope that doesn't scare you away. The food here is amazing. Number four, the malls. You probably think I'm an idiot, but you haven't experienced an Indonesian mall. People, it's next level. There are more than 170 malls in Jakarta itself. All the malls that I have been to in Indonesia are like the Mall of America. You'll find roller coasters. It's just insane, you have to experience it. Number five, monkeys. Before I went to Indonesia, I thought it was gonna be so awesome to go see these monkeys. Well, I hate monkeys now, but that looks attractive to a tourist or somebody that wants to come visit. I was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. The monkeys are gonna play with me. Hey, I'm gonna hold one. We're gonna have a picture like with a monkey right here. It's gonna be awesome. That's not how it goes. They'll come on your back, but all they want is the stuff that's in your backpack. So they'll do anything to get on you and start unzipping it, grab your water bottle. I had a friend who lost his glasses because there was a monkey that just came up and got him. I don't want to talk about monkeys anymore. I'm using so many hand motions right now, it's crazy. Number six, cheap AF. It's cheap. Literally, everything's cheap. It's next level cheap here. You can spend $2 on like a really nice meal. Let's say you're a backpacker and you wanna spend the bare minimum. You can spend $25 a day, and that would include three meals, transportation, and let's say two beers at the end of the day. All for 25 bucks. I bought like the, a, a fake fossil watch, not this one, different one, for like two bucks. That's probably not a good thing for me to do, because I'm supporting you know, people to make stuff like that. But, hey, it's cool and it's cheap. The last one, number seven, it's a little cliche, but this place is so rich with culture. You have no idea. The people, the architecture, the clothing that everybody wears, it's batik. I have one, I'm gonna, here, I have one. I bought three of them and I'll probably never wear them again. Indonesia is the number one Muslim country in the entire world. That wraps it up, guys. I hope that helps if you're interested in traveling there. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment, tell me I'm doing a decent job or a bad job, that's fine. Hit the subscribe button if you like this because I'll be creating more content like this. Have an awesome day.